Okay, so this is going to be the test. I'm going to start here from Altus. I'm going to fly due north, and you'll see I put two armed UAZs. Um, then about 200, 300 meters later, I've got a bunch of guys. And then you'll see about 400 meters, I've got another two UAZs. And if I make it to this point up here, and I'm not too badly damaged, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and turn around and attack these guys and see how long I can last. I'm starting off with the Wildcat, and we'll see how much damage I take. So now let's jump in the battle hall. Same bad guys. I'm gonna try to have the same altitude. Can't guarantee the speed because it's too chunk. Here she is. Um, the uh, the chopper on everyone's lips. This would be the uh, this would be the RHS version, I believe. Same bad guys.
Just for kicks and giggles, let's jump in the little bird. Uh, take, placing debts, taking bets on how long this is going to last. Second group of bad guys, possibly. Um, I'm going to try to maintain the same height and speed, but of course this is a smaller chopper, so I'm sure the speed's going to be a lot less. Same height, about 20 kilometers an hour slower. First set of bad guys. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's see if this one fares any better than its bigger brother, which is, of course, the uh, Apache. So he does sound effects here. Once again, same height and speed. Guys. Wow. Well, that's not good. But you know what? I, I, th I think I can land it. I really do. Let's see. Let's see. I think... Maybe if it weren't for the power lines, that would have been a better landing, I think. And winding this up for the test, as this could really go on all night, uh, is what I would like to call the Mustang of Muscle Choppers, which is your Venom. Uh, which is basically a Huey that's armed to the teeth. I think this one can actually, if you sit in the gunner seat as well, this will carry eight. So this actually has... Um, the ability to carry a squad plus a couple more. In other words, if you happen to have a squad and an embed or something like that, you can fit them all in here. So, once again, trying to climb to about 80 meters. I 
I they don't shoot me, I think I may be able to get this puppy down. Except I'm gonna land right at the <laughs> The technicals don't have to drive to me, I'm I'm gonna land with them. Oh, oh, oh. Oh look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, man on the run. Okay, I think we're going to have to keep moving here because I think they're distracted by the helicopter. They didn't see. Oh, there we go. All right, mag. Moving. Okay. Ah, it's worth a shot, right? All right, let's see how... Because these are basically stock bad guys, right? Um, I believe the bad guys are using uh, stock weapons and other vanilla weapons. And the technicals are vanilla technicals. They're the off-road armed technicals. So this is actually the vanilla ghost hawk. slower beast than uh, everything else we've flown. Now this doesn't have any of the armaments that any of the others, like there, this has no rockets. Um, oh, they shot me out of the plane. I think part of that has to do with the speed. So that was your um, vanilla transport. What about your vanilla fighter? How would this fare against our bad guys? This is the, it was never built, but we're gonna put it in a game, Command G. it to the third set of technicals. And this is going to come in hard. And the final one for our test is this big bad boy, which is basically, this actually is, uh, apart from the fact it's the bad guy's chopper, is a really good blend because you essentially have what an Apache stuck on the top. Um, of a transport. You can carry, I think, up to nine guys in this.
probably the fastest I've gone out of all the tests to 237 kilometers. Should be coming up with the first set of bad guys. someone killed me on the fourth time. Let's see. Oh, is it going to let me slow up? It's trying. No. Okay, but that was really, really interesting. 